Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at the cursed staffs. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of cursed staffs in the inventory here, and we're going to be going over each one and where they are kind of used, uh, what abilities you should probably use for the uh, biggest benefit of yours, and kind of basically a big overview of cursed staffs in general. Uh, if we go to my um, my section or whatever of cursed, you're going to see that I do have a 100 out of 100 in Warlock Mastery. But if you go up here, I actually haven't played any with the Demonic Staff Combat uh, Specialist. haven't gotten any fame in that. So I will be going based on uh, other players and what I've seen around the game. Uh, but then we have the Artifact Cursed Staffs. We have the Cursed Staff Combat Specialist. And then we have the Great Cursed Staff Combat Specialist. Uh, Great Curse is where I spend most of my time as that is my 2v2 and 5v5s and GVGs and you know, all of the good team content, I use uh, Great Curse, and it's going to be probably one of the most valuable uh, curse staffs in the mix here. So let's get started real quick. I do have my graphic dummy here um, for dueling, and we'll, we'll duel real quick. Um, and I do have him on a laptop this time, so he shouldn't disconnect for us. Should be a lot better. Uh, but let's go and check the first staff we're going to be looking at. The first staff is something I haven't used uh, commonly enough at all to actually tell you too much about. But I will say the Q is going to be the same on all weapons. All cursed staffs are going to have the same Qs. And it's going to be the Vile Curse, which is a point and click. And then it's going to be the Cursed Sickle, which is a shoots a Cursed Sickle in an in indicate, indicated direction, which flies back to your initial position. It applies a Vile Curse at an enemy. If it hits, and the curse will deal 42 damage every two seconds, stacks up to four seconds, or four times, sorry about that. But what you're going to see here, if we have the curse sickle, is you're actually able to get a stack on the way in, out and on the way back, like it says, but it's going to do less damage. So, um, and you, the way it's going to do less damage is basically because you're going to miss occasional skill shots. Uh, so if you're looking at a single target, one versus one, you should almost always go vile curse unless you are confident that you can land the curse sickle on the way there and on the way back. Um, and then we're going to have the W, which is going to be the Armor Piercer, uh, Cursed Beam, Desecrate, and Grudge. But let's throw this Q real quick before we get started on that. Uh, so you're going to see that it does apply two stacks here on the top. You're going to see that it's a Vile Curse and it does a lot of damage as you can see it bleeding through him there. Um, let's take a look now at the W. The W's we're going to have, like I said, Armor Piercer, which is just going to basically be a beam that shoots out in a straight line. All enemies hit will take 193 damage and have their armor and magic, redu magic resist reduced by 40 for 8 seconds. Uh, pretty strong. Um, you know, it's going to it's gonna re weaken them a lot. You can actually run this in 5v5s if you're looking to run a Cursed Staff. Running Armor Piercer is not a bad option. Cursed Beam is going to be a, a beam that deals 181 damage up to 5 enemies. Uh, pretty weak out of the Ws. Um, all the Ws are pretty strong. This is one of them that is a little bit weaker than the rest. Uh, Desecrate is going to be a nice root. And this root is going to be a 4 meter radius with 3.25 seconds and applies a Vial Curse to them. Uh, it's pretty dang strong. It's going to automatically apply a Vile Curse, um, which is the buff, we or not the buff, but the damage over time. Uh, so it's going to automatically apply that one stack, and it's also going to keep them in the same place. And that's going to be a great combo with your, um, on the Great Curse Staff, it's going to be a great combo with the Area of Decay. But we'll go over that later. Uh, then we have the Grudge, which it can be cast on an ally and it lasts for 10 seconds. While it is active, every normal attack they make inflicts a grudge curse stack on the enemy. Each grudge curse stack deals 23 magic damage per second for 8 times. Stacks up to 6 times. So that actually adds up a lot based on the spec. So if we go to the Great Cursed, and obviously I actually can't even show you the grudge on the Great Cursed because you need a higher tier Great Cursed. But if you go on the Great Cursed, I'm going to have a lot more uh, damage uh, using Grudge on the Great Curse because of the fact that I have much higher spec. So you got to remember the spec is going to change the damage numbers here. So don't really worry about the damage numbers. Really worry about if the uh, skill is going to be strong or not based on what the you know ability does. So we'll go with the Armor Piercer to show you kind of how the skill shot itself works um, and how it kind of affects the enemy. Uh, and then we're going to look at the Enfeeble Blades. Uh, Enfeeble Blades is something that summons a ring of deadly blades around yourself or an ally. The follow that follow the target around, the blades will re 
repeatedly damage uh, set by 78 and reduce attack power by 5%, stacking up to 10 times. Uh, and Feeble Blades is actually somewhat strong if you're able to just toss it on a tank in a GVG or something like that, but really you're not going to be running this guy, uh, this build, in a GVG. So, you know, it can be strong in certain situations, uh, just not not too commonly. So uh, what we like to do also is run Bane or Furious. It's kind of up to you. I like to run Furious, which gives me, after five activated spells, increases your damage by 10% 10, 10 for four seconds. The Bane is just every four autos, you get a demonic explosion on the enemy, dealing an additional 59 damage and a five meter radius. So it kind of does a little bit of an AOE, but not enough damage to really make it matter. So what I like to do is go Furious for sure. Um, and that's going to be the life curse staff. And now we're going to only have to go over the ease for the common uh, for the rest of these uh, staffs. So it will go a little bit faster. And I would like to know I am doing the one-handed curse staffs first. Um, if you didn't notice, the life curse staff does not have a. It's not a two-hand. Um, so you can throw an offhand on there. And the same thing is with the adepts curse staff. You can throw an offhand. These are all two-handed staffs down here. Uh, so you cannot use an offhand. But let's get started in looking at this W. So the W is actually a very thin, um, what do you call it? A very thin hitbox, or not hitbox. It's a very thin ability, basically. So it's you know you gotta you gotta aim pretty well. If you're off by a little bit, you will miss. Uh, so that was the W, and it will put resistances as you see there. Uh, reduce reduce resistances as you see there. Um, but now we're gonna have the enfeeble blades, and this is something like uh, like it says you can put it on um, your ally or yourself. So let's just pop it on myself because I don't have an ally. And you're going to see that it does a lot of damage uh, if I'm able to stack it and get a lot of damage onto the enemy. Um, this can be a strong item. Uh, it's, it really does depend because it does a decent amount of AoE damage. Uh, if you're the tank and you throw it on your tank, you know, as he runs in, it's going to do a decent chunk to them. So, you know, it's not terrible, but, you know, it's it's the life curse staff. It's not bad. Uh but let's move on to maybe what more of you guys have probably used, the Adept's Cursed Staff. The Cursed Staff is very, very strong, uh, and we're going to use the Desecrate this time just so you guys can see that. Um, and then we'll click the Furious, or let's go to the uh, Bane so you guys can see the auto attacks uh, coming in for after four normal attacks, you get that explosion. Uh, but let's see here. A place is a death curse on the target and will deal damage to the target after a few seconds, depending on the number of charges of the vile curse on the target. So if you have all four charges and you use the death curse, after a little bit, it's going to do 1,271 damage, which is a lot of damage. A very high burst damage there. Um, and, you know, it's going to be very, very strong to use this uh, in Hellgates or, you know, open world. It's actually strong too because you have the desecrate. And you're going to remember the Desecrate puts a stack on them automatically right away. So what you're going to be able to do is let's get in the duel here. Uh, he's not going to be able to tank enough here for us. Um, unfortunately, I don't have this guy leveled at all. I think he's only tier threes. Uh, but it should be fine to kind of show you guys how it works. So let's get one stack right in the beginning with the... Well, actually, you know, let's we'll do the four auto attacks so you guys can see the four auto attacks damage. So it does that little damage uh, of area burst there. Um, but let's try the Desecrate. So the Desecrate is going to add that stack uh, already on him. And we're going to add another stack. And we're going to add one more stack. And we're going to toss the East E. Uh, auto attacked on accident. But you're going to see that skull on top of his head. And after a while it's going to explode and do the damage of the number. Based on the number of charges it has on his head. Um, obviously you didn't really get to see it too well there, but it, it does, it was just about to apply and explode and do that damage. So that's pretty much the one-handed curse staff right there. Uh, we're going to move on to the curse skull. Actually, let's go to the, uh, great curse because it's pretty much the same concept as, uh, the curse staff. It's actually just, you know, good in those same scenarios as 2e2s and things of that matter. So let's go with the curse, uh, wait, you already saw the curse sickle, um, I guess we can throw the curse beam on him, um, because why not? And then uh, let's just stick with Bane, I guess. Uh, so let's see what this really does here. Um, I don't know if I actually even read the E to you. Let's read that real quick. The E basically is an area of decay. The castle creates an area of decay. Enemies inside will have all their heal over time effects removed, um, which is very strong. And it will have a vile curse up reapplied repeatedly until they are no longer in the area. The more the curse stack up, the better, basically. Um, 
and we're going to run desecrate usually with area of decay uh, for one big big reason is that the desecrate is going to add that one stack and then we're also going to be able to toss the area of decay right underneath where he can't move um, so we're going to use that right now we're going to show that that he can't move right oh well <laughs> got to probably be dueling them uh, first but you saw the idea right there that you want to, you know, you want to stack this. You want to throw your desk crate down, and then you want to use your area of decay right after as they are stuck in there and taking a lot of damage. Um, but let's try that again real quick. I don't think I'm actually going to have the mana for a second here. Energy cost 34, 49. Uh, we got to wait a tad here. But basically, um, you know, it's, I think we're good now. But basically, it's a very good combo. If you lay your W down, then you lay your E down. It's just a lot of damage you're going to be putting down. So you're seeing here the stacks are going up. They get to that four. And it's going to do a lot of damage. You're going to see the curse staff is just very, very strong damage over time. And that's why people use it in fives because it's hard to outheal. Uh, definitely when, you know, in fives, you're going to want to run the curse sickle. And you're going to be able to throw that thing out and get, you know, a couple enemies hit with different cursed and you know how they're going to heal everybody at the same time without the big resets from a healer it's going to be about impossible so uh, that's going to be the great curse we're going to move on to the cursed skull the cursed skull is going to be uh, pretty unique here as um, this is an ability that is a W you haven't seen this one yet because uh, you usually have to have higher tier but since we're using the cursed skull we actually have it right away uh, tier 4, usually you're going to have to have tier 6 to have the Dark Matter. The Dark Matter is going to be an option for GVGs and 5v5s, as it can do a lot of damage. Um, basically, it, you cast on enemy, and the matter will keep jumping around to the closest enemy in 7 meter radius for up to 10 times, dealing 191 damage to every player it possesses through, and 96 magic damage to every mob. So basically, it's going to do a lot of damage, and it can keep going uh, back between a couple enemies, and do a lot, a lot of damage. And the cooldown's actually not bad at all at 20 seconds. Um, these are all pretty good cooldowns, so as you can tell. So Dark Matter here, obviously, it's not going to do much, as we have one guy there for us now. But um, And then you also get the hit and run. Every four activated spells, your movement speed is increased by 20% for three seconds. Um, can be strong, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, but the Haunting Screams is going to be the ultimate new ability. The uh, E is going to be a summon tortured souls to roam in a 6 meteor radius area. This area deals 127 magic damage per second against players. Deals an additional 2% of the enemy's max health as true damage per second. Uh, this is going to be an item that's decent in ZVZs. I actually ran it for a couple ZVZs if you look at my later videos or earlier videos. You're going to see that I did actually run the Curse Skull for a few videos. Um, in ZVZs, and it, it didn't do bad. I did do some damage. You're going to do a lot of damage to tanks as it's true damage, and it's just going to melt um, anybody with stacked armor instead of HP. So, what we're going to see here, or HP instead of armor, sorry about that. But let's see what we got here. We have the file. Well, you know, we almost did it again, but we couldn't this time. So, let's get that duel going. Uh, but we're going to have the dark matter to show you guys right away. Um, and the dark matter obviously will be bouncing around the different enemies. Obviously, in this case, it won't. Uh, but we're going to toss that on the guy, and it does take a little bit to cast, and that's going to be one of the biggest reasons that it, you know, it can get canceled. So it's it's kind of a predicament to try to use that in ZVZs or anything like that. Um, ZVZs, you're usually just going to want to use the armor piercer, as you're not going to be able to get close enough for any of this other stuff. Maybe a desecrate, but for the most part, armor piercer, or maybe curse beam. Uh, but basically, that's going to be the dark matter, and now we're going to toss down the E, which is haunting screams. So. You toss that down and it actually moves forward as it goes. So you're going to see it does 2% plus that extra damage right there. Um, a pretty good chunk of damage and it lasts a pretty long while. Uh, but it's you know it's a pretty big AOE and it's hard to dodge. So that's going to be one reason why it's act, uh, the Curse Skull is actually pretty decent and pretty good uh, use. But let's go to the Damnation Staff. Another GV, or not GVG, another ZVZ item that is possible to use in ZVZs. And you can use this and be okay um, using it. By the way, this is another item that has the dark matter um, and ha also has the hit and run move uh, mechanic. I didn't really show you guys that last time, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly obvious to understand. Every four activated spells, your movement speed is increased by 20% for three seconds, allowing you to kite better and faster. Uh, but let's see what this E does. So this E is it creates an area on the ground for of a radius of 13 meters which deals 487 magical damage and reduces resistances by 49 for 6 seconds. It's going to be actually a pretty strong ability as it's going to reduce a lot of people's um, 
a lot of people's resistances is going to reduce by a lot because it doesn't do a much that much damage, but it's all about the resistance being reduced for your longbows and your, um, you know, pretty much every other ZVZ damage item, really. It's going to help them all out. So uh, let's toss the Dark Matter so you guys can see what that looks like again. I always throw an auto for who knows why, and let's throw the E down. So the E is actually going to be a very long um, timer on basically the kill. It's going to be a very long cataclysm takes, let's see, cast time 2.5 seconds. It's going to be a very, very long um, time to actually cast. So you're going to want to make sure you take um, something that either speeds up your cast time, obviously a pork omelet, or uh, you know some gear that might speed it up as well. There's all the, obviously a lot of different options there, but pretty decent for ZVZ is a Damnation Staff. Uh, the next item, I think, is the final item on the list for the Cursed Staffs, is we're going to have the Demonic Staff. The Demonic Staff is going to be pretty much the same ordeal as all the other Cursed Staffs in a way, but with a little twist. It's got the Field of Death. Uh, the Field of Death creates an area of death on the ground that prevents 60% of healing and deals 29 damage to players and 64 damage to mobs per second. It also reveals invisible enemies inside the area. Uh, it's definitely different than, um, you know, it has a different E ability than every other curse staff. Like, it's it's very unique to, uh, you know, reduce healing and show invis. I, I tend to think that this couldn't possibly work in 2v2s if you use your E correctly and reduce the healing and show invis units. So if they're running a double damage and they use invis to their advantage or they're running a healer and you just destroy their healing with a uh, field of death. I have not tried it yet. Um, I just have such low spec on the um, actual uh, staffs themselves, or not the staffs themselves, but the, uh, what do you call that? The, I can't think of the name and I need to check it out, let's see here. The artifact, <laughs> the artifact curse staffs, I don't have much spec on them. Obviously I have 100 mastery so I'd be fine, but um, I haven't actually tested that. So I could try uh, the demonic staff out, but let's test on the dummy like we do with all of the other ones. As we get started, hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know if you guys liked the dummy being added in. Instead of just talking about the abilities and going over what they're good for, uh, adding the dummy in I feel like does add a little perspective on what the abilities actually do. Uh, that's the desk crate. Going to add that stack, remember, and it's going to keep them snared. Uh, the field of death we're going to lay down now. Um, and you're going to see it right there. If he was invis, he'd be revealed, um, as well as the healing is reduced. It's not going to do a ton of damage like you know your other abilities might do, but it also lasts for a little bit longer if you couldn't tell there. Um, it does last for, let's see here, how long did it last? Prevents healing, uh, if it also reveals, I don't know if it even really says. Basically, <laughs> it lasted for quite some time there, um, but that's gonna be the curse staffs for today. Uh, the overview of the curse staffs, and we're gonna be going over all items eventually in Albion Online, so just stick around with me and kind of follow me along as we go through all of the items. We're starting with ones that I pretty much uh, know pretty well. The Cursed Staffs is something obviously I have a lot of experience with as I'm 100 out of 100 spec or mastery and I don't really um, have any experience with the crafting side of things so I need to kind of get my you know feet wet with some of the crafting and understand that a little bit more before I kind of show you guys some videos of that. We're going to stick to weapons and uh, armor as you know I've got high high uh, mastery and plate boots I got high mastery in different things um, and we'll be able to kind of go over all of that uh, the more we you know go through all these overviews and get through all different kinds of items and weapons and armor and whatever else so thanks for tuning in guys today's video and I hope you guys liked the curse staffs overview uh, armor as you know I've got high high uh, mastery and plate boots I got high